Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel CodeLogic. So today we are going to see how we can implement the Google sign-in. So in a previous video, uh, we have implemented the login and for the password and the registration. So in this video, uh, we'll implement this Google sign-in. So if you have not watched that videos, then I request you to watch that videos first. Okay. Uh, without wasting any time, let's get started. Now uh, we are in now uh, Visual Studio Code inside app section. You can see there is a uh, various components are there like dashboard, forget password, login. So now we'll go inside login component, okay, and uh, then we'll add a new row there, okay. So uh, that row will contain the link for the Google sign in, okay. We'll add some margin top and then We'll add a class card and card body. Okay. Then we'll uh, add image tag and uh, we have downloaded the image from the Google. Okay. After that, we'll write a message, sign in with the uh, Google. Okay. Now we'll paste that code inside the anchor tag, and on that tag we'll add a click event, and we'll call a method sign in with Google. Okay, we'll copy the code. And we'll go inside the component.ts file, login component, and we'll add a new method here sign in with Google. Okay. Now we'll go inside the auth.service file, and here we'll uh, write new method for sign in with uh, Google. Okay, and we'll uh, import one package from the Angular Fire slash auth the Google auth provider. Also, we'll import the GitHub and Facebook auth provider. Though we are not going to implement that in this video. Okay. Uh, now uh, we'll start writing our method. Google sign in inside which will return now fire auth dot sign in with the pop up and will pass a new Google auth provider. Okay, dot then. will catch the result and the error uh, if you are getting any error then we'll just uh, raise alert there and on the successful result we'll uh, use the router module to navigate to the dashboard After that, we'll uh, store a token inside local storage. We'll use json.stringify method to add the string value that is UID of the user. Okay, now we'll go inside the login.html file. There We'll add some style for anchor tag that is text decoration none and we'll remove that href attribute 
okay also we are going to add the height as a 24 pixel for the image and uh, width also 24 pixel okay and we'll add shadow to the card body and text center okay that's it now we'll go inside a logins component.ts file and we'll implement that method sign in with google also we start google sign in okay now uh, in a firebase section uh, you can see there are uh, different providers are present like google github so we are using google here so we'll enable it and we need to provide the email id okay so we have enabled it and now in our application so whenever you click on that google sign in it will uh, pop up will generate and uh, here you need to sign in and after that uh, you will redirect to the dashboard okay also there are like facebook if you want to use a facebook login then you can use that you need to provide app id okay uh, another is there like uh, if you want to use a uh, github then you need to provide the client id okay and client secret that's it for the video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment below see you in the next video till then bye bye